Hey everybody, this is Vegan Master here again with another video for you guys today. And today we are going against the Buffalo Bills. And the Buffalo Bills are a tougher opponent. Because obviously they're 4 and 2 for a reason, but let's upgrade some stats real quick before we go into this one. Our throw on the run definitely needs to be improved a lot for Jaren Wright to play well. And as an 88 overall quarterback, we feel pretty good. Hopefully we can continue and be better than we are, but than we were. So we're going to go 4-2. We're 4 we're four. We're going to go against the 4-2 Buffalo team, who really seems to have improved this year being 4-2. I don't want to see them continuing on with their luck. I want them to be 4-3 and three so that we can be 3-3. Three and three. Kind of keep the season alive to a proportionary amount. As obviously, we are going to lose some games. We are going to keep this. But this is our first game in the division, and we have to win it. This is That's my rule. It's the first game in the division. We have to come out and win the game. It is a good, it's going to be a good ball game. And if we go out and win it, it's going to be even better. So, we're at home. We won at home last week. Let's continue winning at home so we can kind of get a better feel for the teams and for what should be going on. So, let's go. Let's have some good let's have a good day. Sun Life Stadium. So just football these hello friends, Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. We have two teams today desperately want to beat one another. It has turned into one of the great rivalry matchups around the entire National Football League. And how do you see it for the football? I'll just say it this way. And a pick six, a way to start this game off is with a pick six, continuing it on. Let's keep it going. Let's pour it on the Bills. Show them that they are not going to win in Miami. They might win in Buffalo, but they're not going to win here in Miami if we have anything to stop or do with it. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. Keller's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Picked off by Lawson. Yikes. Manuel is a player to watch today. Having thrown and entered. Wow. Well, we still got Lamar Miller playing, not Thomas, but Miller will get two yards on the play. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home, they stay in their gaps, and they hold that run to a short game. Second down coming up. And down, four yards, lost. Well, defense all over that play. They tackled the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third loss. Advantage goes to the defense. He's looking to the right here. Miller, gain of two, one of four for two yards on the play, on the in the game. <laughs> it's seven, nothing after, and it's still a punt. Well, they punted it off, and we got the ball at the three-yard line. Obviously... Not a place to start. The three-yard line. Oh, it's so bad. It's scaring me to start there. But you know what? We'll deal with it. Right. The Miller, two yards. Pretty typical play right here. When you back up against your own end zone, you run the football inside, and it just gets a short gain. The defense comes out in the nickel. Challenging. Wallace, is that first? Is that a first? No, it's third in inches. Makes the decision, throws it short, and does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. Wallace will get the first down on that short pass, first and ten. Seven nothing at the end of the first quarter. You know what? After a bad start for the or Miami Dolphins, if they go, if they end up tying their record to three three, that'll be beautiful for them. Gibson, not a first down, but close enough to the first down. 
play this type of defense where you play cover three. In other words, you have three defenders playing one in the middle. One middle or first? Left. That's the first. The weakness of that defense is going to be underneath. So slant patterns, they're pretty easy against this cover three. So... Uh, another run for Miller. Eight yards, seven yards, six yards. Five carries for nine yards. Not quite two yards per carry. 1.8 yards per carry, but that's something. They're getting something out of their running game. That's good. Intercepted by Lawson again. That one, well, EJ Manuel will love that one because this, oh, wow, no. They don't get the good field position with the field. They don't get points on that good field position, so doesn't work out in their favor, sadly. Incomplete pass. So it's still not. We're not looking pretty. The offense isn't at least, but the defense is. So that's why they're doing good. And we threw it away there. We had to. And hit as he threw, but now now he's thrown two interceptions in this game. But with those two interceptions, it hasn't been too bad. It really has not. But this is another punt. This is the second punt of the day. Fields, nice punt, and that's going to go... CJ Spiller going to return from the 20 and going to get down to the 35-yard line. And that will be a three-point drive for the Buffalo Bills. Bills have definitely been reliant on their, on their defense in this game. Same with the Dolphins. The only difference is the Dolphins got a defensive touchdown, whereas the offense got the three points for um, Buffalo. So... Thrown. Intercepted by Bird. And already, so there's a statistic that's going against Miami now. Is every time that there's been at least two or three interceptions, they have lost. But there's also one going for them. And if they get ten carries, then they've won both times. And that it should be like the ninth, eighth or ninth carry. So... Intercepted right to him. That ball was thrown right to the guy. And or to the defender, and now it is gonna be six seven. Familiar because this this uh, the Falcons game was also six seven going into halftime. Sacked. They ever at least every ten plays I'm saying sack, which is bad. I don't want to say sack every ten plays, but it happens. Keller, nice catch, first down. Yeah, zero touchdowns, four interceptions. But both defenses, both defenses are playing amazing. So keep, if they keep that up, that's a good thing. And he goes and gets about seven yards on the play. But being able to get out of bounds was a very good thing for them. That stopped the clock. And another sack, which leads a timeout for the Bills, and we're going to have to punt it again. Fields, a good punt. They're returning it from the 40-yard line, and they get to the 49-yard line. And the score going into halftime is going to be 6-7. to seven. This is definitely a game where worth remember or worth remembering for the defensive side of the ball. And Miller's gonna get a couple yards there. Three yards on that play. 
back to a short game. Second down. From the gun. Throws to the right. Caught by Wallace. No, not caught by Wallace. It should have been caught by Wallace, but was not. And that one's caught by Wallace. First down. And Miller, a couple, a yard. Let's, yeah, the yard marked on the play. And sacked again. Too many sacks given up. We're, we're last in sacks give, or given up. We have to be last. And that's a caught by Wallace, and that's going to go down to the 42-yard line of the Buffalo. 83 yards on that day. That tells you how much of a defensive struggle this has been with 83 yards only on the day. Incomplete. Ball on the 42-yard line. Find some extra time to throw it, but look at the receivers. Well, look at the defenders all over the receivers down the field. There was nowhere to throw it. Sacked again. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. And incomplete. Fourth and 15, and another punt going to have to up come. What do you do? I got the answer right here. Seven to six still as the score. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. We all know what Jer what happened to Jaron Wright against the Bills the last time. There was a crazy ending against the Bills last time, so they don't want to have that because they go against the Bills twice. And this is hence why this could have been a primetime game, but it didn't end up being one. And Miller! Dropped for seven yards lost. Give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play and they stopped it. Second down coming up. Wide open. Intercepted by Gilmore. Intercepted by Gilmore, and that's gonna go to the 35 yard, 34 yard line. And that is gonna pin him at a 14 to 7 game. In the fourth quarter, this has been a really stingy game. Incomplete. And deep ball intercepted by Williams in the. This is game is going to end up getting chalked up as a loss, obviously, right now for the Dolphins because the Dolphins cannot seem to get anything on offense. But, you know, the defense was has been stingy all game long, but chalk it up as a loss already, probably. Harline first. That's the first. And another sack. We can't just we can't That's stop giving up sacks. Incomplete. Quarterback has a strong arm, but I am starting to question his touch. Need a little more touch on those deep passes. That time he overthrows the receiver. 
Incomplete again. We have to, we have to go for it. I hate saying that, but we do. We're in a situation where we have to now. And sacked! So many darn sacks! It's getting annoying now. And it's 24 to 7. This game will not stop sacking me, and it's being annoying in that regard. Incomplete. Caught. No, incomplete. And sacked on third down, which makes it fourth down. And picked off by Gilmore for the fourth interception of the day. Or two, second interception, but still it's going to be 27-7. to Brian Hartline is now injured, and now we have to substitute Ryan Matthews because Brian Hartline being injured. And everybody's getting injured for the Dolphins, and obviously this is going to end up real bad for the season. Gibson with the catch. Gibson's like our main receiver. And sacked. And Bird, another interception, and we just cannot stop throwing interceptions. It's a non stop affair at this point. And that ends the game at 27 to 7. We're 2 and 4 now, and this is definitely turning into, out to be a bad season. Which means that, you know, Jaron Wright is probably going to transfer back to whatever team he wants to go to. But with his, I don't know how many people are going to try and pick him up because of how many terrible games he's had this season. He's, ha he's on his sophomore slump right now. And nothing that you can do about it. I mean, not really. So, I didn't look at the stats on that game. Sorry about that. I'll look at the stats next time. But we're going against the New England Patriots tomorrow. See you guys then. Bye.